Did you know that a well-structured homeschool schedule can save you up to two hours every day? In today's video, I'm excited to share a super helpful seven-step method that saved me two hours a day, making our homeschooling routine so much easier. Imagine having extra time to relax or play. Let's dive right in. So we've all heard the saying, Failing to plan is planning to fail. Lack of planning can waste so much time in our homeschooling journey, leading to chaos and overwhelm. The amount of wasted time and mental energy that can be saved <laughs> by the first step of this method is incredible. Sunday planning, y'all. Start your week strong by dedicating one to two hours on Saturday or Sunday to plan. This includes mapping out lessons, meals, and different activities. Having everything laid out in advance can prevent those midweek scrambles and keep your days running smoothly. Now the next step of this method is one that truly helps reduce stress save time, and keeps kids focused. I learned about the power of this step while working at a child care center. The first day was usually filled with a lot of tears, not for me, from the kids, <laughs> and, and confusion as the kids adjusted to the new environment. But by the end of the second week, most of them, they were fine. They were accustomed to being dropped off and had settled into like, what we did every single day. But one day, there was a little boy um, that was being dropped off. And as I went to go get him from his mom, he suddenly screamed and clung to her. I was shocked, y'all, because he had been doing so well and he was kind of like my kid. Like if you've ever been a childcare teacher, there's always this one kid that is like your kid you know and they just know know you and cling to you and kind of like grow like attached to you and so he had been my kid and so it was just so weird to have him like yell and scream as if he had never seen me before then i realized that his mom had dropped him off later than usual so that threw him off of the usual routine and it was a reminder of how much children rely on consistency to feel secure. It took a hot second, but once we got him back into his usual routine, he calmed down and was ready to participate in the day's activities. Now this experience really showed me just how crucial a routine is, not only for kids in a childcare setting, but also for homeschooling, like a consistent, schedule, provide stability, and help kids know what to expect, making them feel more secure and able to focus. When they know what's coming next, they can engage more fully in their learning and enjoy the day without the stress of unpredictability. That's why having a daily routine in your homeschool can make such a big difference. Taking full advantage of that Focused learning is what step three is all about. Planning your homeschool days without considering when your children are most alert is literally one of the biggest mistakes you can make. It's like trying to fit a square into a circle hole, <laughs> however you describe that. By scheduling core subjects like math and language arts during their peak focus times, you're, you ensure they tackle the hardest work when they're freshest and most able to concentrate. Now, don't make the mistake that I made and assume that peak focus is the first thing in the morning <laughs> because I have found that every child is different. I've got two kids that need to burn off an immense, like a ton of energy <laughs> before they are ready to sit and do focused work. So it's very important to be a good study of your kids. This strategy known as focus school helps your kids learn better 
and makes the day go smoother. But when you combine that with the next step, ah, chef's kiss for saving time in a day, okay? So what if you could BOGO your child's education? That's right, y'all, buy one, get one free. <laughs> Do the work once and get one free. Group learning is like that. It's not just about teaching different ages at the same time. It's also about kids learning from each other. There's a huge benefit to having younger kids learn alongside older children and vice versa. When you teach a mixed age group, you have to explain things in a way that everyone can understand. Now this helps older kids understand the topic really well. At the same time, younger kids learn a lot from hearing the older ones discuss the topic. So we love doing group learning for subjects like history and Bible and science and read alouds. It lets everyone learn together. It saves time. It makes learning more fun and interesting for all the kids. Here's the plot twist. <laughs> In the same way, the opposite approach can save even more time because it doesn't involve you at all. <laughs> the next step is crucial. It helps kids become more independent and responsible, but also gives you time to focus on other tasks or attend to individual needs. It is so important to encourage self-directed learning. Assigning independent work to your kids, this not only helps them learn responsibility and independence, but it's also a great way to balance your day and make sure everyone stays productive. And since we're on the topic, I know my perfectionist mamas might struggle <laughs> with the independent step that I just talked about, plus this next step. But the truth is, it's not easy, you know, but it's incredibly important. What helps me embrace this step is remembering that I'm raising adults, not just kids. Proverbs 22, six says, train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Teaching responsibility now is a gift to our kids while they're still under our roof. Setting aside time for the kids to do chores saves hours a day. Because as the saying goes, many hands make light work. Our kiddos are often more capable than we think. This not only teaches them responsibility and essential life skills, but also keeps the house running smoothly and gives them a break from schoolwork. That my kiddos, when left idle, and without responsibilities, they tend to get into trouble more. But all in all, it's all about preparing them for the future while making our present more manageable. Now this next step might be a little controversial, even though I think the last one was too. <laughs> but it saves me hours a week. It's awesome for supplementing your teaching and giving your kids a variety of learning experiences. And they help reinforce concepts or introduce new topics in a fun and engaging way. Plus, they give you as the teacher a much needed break, which is always a win. <laughs> Using educational apps and videos and audio, it's all about finding the right balance and using these resources to make your homeschooling journey smoother and more enjoyable. Homeschooling doesn't have to take over your life. These simple tips will save you hours every day, but planning is only half the battle. <laughs> if keeping your homeschool space organized is a daily struggle for you, then you need to watch this next video you'll discover five strangely effective tools for managing your homeschooling household, how you can easily implement them in less than 10 minutes, and the biggest homeschool mom hack I use. Hint, 
It involves this mysterious black box. <laughs> See you over there. <laughs>